In this episode, we're going to look at getting some default product data into our WooCommerce store. Now WooCommerce actually ships with default product data. We just actually need to get it out of our plugin. The easiest way to do that is if we go to the WordPress plugin repository and we can download a version of WooCommerce. And you can see I've got it here on my desktop. Close that. We'll open that. And it's right here, opened up on my second screen. So in here, we've got a folder called dummy data. If we open that, we've got dummy data.xml, dummy products, dummy variations, and sample tax rates. To install our dummy data, we're going to go to tools and import. We're going to import a WordPress project. If you haven't installed this plugin already, it's going to ask you to install. And then we'll activate and run the importer. I'm going to choose my file, and this is on my desktop, WooCommerce, dummy data, and dummy data.xml. We'll open it and upload and import. I'm going to map all of this to myself, which is the Woo Screencast user. And that means I'm going to make all the products, I'm going to make myself the author of them. I'm going to download and import the file attachments and then hit submit. And this will take a few minutes depending on your connection and, a, and how fast your server is. And so I'll pause this and come back when it's done. So our content is now imported. And this is what you should see. It says remember to update. Uh, the passwords and role for imported users because when we imported we got some other users for WordPress. We're not going to worry about that because I don't want anyone else to have access to it. What we did get, if we go to our products, is a whole bunch of products already preset for us. That will allow us later on to play with uh, WooCommerce a little more. And that's how we get dummy data into WooCommerce for testing. I use this all the time. Uh, for any theme, I have a WooCommerce installed with the dummy data because it is very complete. And that way I build my theme for my client for their specific needs and I go double check it with the dummy data to make sure that I'm not missing some scenario um, like a certain type of product that I could miss otherwise. Thanks for watching.